astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will be spending more time in space. Well, not just more time, but last week NASA said they might have to wait till February 2025 to return to Earth. So now let's understand why this is happening and what impact this might have on the astronauts. To start with, they are not in danger. The ISS can comfortably house them for the next six months. Currently, there are seven other astronauts at the space station. Now, the ISS, a permanent space laboratory orbiting Earth at a distance of about 400 km, is continuously manned and has never been without an astronaut since November 2000. Also, this is not the first time that astronauts have had to extend their stay. But Williams and Wilmore would have the longest unscheduled stay if they return in February. Now, the question is, why are Williams and Wilmore stuck in the space? Williams and Wilmore travelled to the ISS on a Boeing spacecraft called Starliner in June. This spacecraft has made two trips to the ISS earlier, but this was the first time it was carrying astronauts. Now, before the launch, a helium leak in Starliner's propulsion system was detected, but was not considered serious enough to abandon the journey. Now, although Starliner developed two more similar leaks on its way, it reached its destination without any trouble. However, after it docked with the ISS and the two astronauts transferred inside, more problems emerged in Starliner, raising questions over the safety of the astronauts on their return journey. Now, it was only a week's journey. Reportedly, if exposed for longer duration, astronauts might experience several health-related issues, such as bone density reduction, vision-related issues, and are also at a higher risk of cancer due to DNA damage. So these trips are usually kept short. So far, ground engineers have not been able to resolve all issues to everyone's satisfaction, leaving Williams and Wilmore stranded as they do not have a vehicle to return home. Now, if the engineers fail, the earliest that the astronauts can return to Earth would be in February 2025 on another vehicle that is set to travel to the ISS in September. Now, the ISS has six sleeping quarters, two bathrooms and even a gym. When visiting spacecraft attach themselves, additional space is also created. So accommodation is not a problem for now. Cargo spaceships routinely make trips to the ISS carrying essential supplies and attending to the maintenance requirements. The cargo spacecraft, however, cannot be used to bring back Williams and Wilmore as they are not equipped with the special capsules that can house humans in space. Now, talking about the health hazards, as mentioned earlier, studies have shown that bone density and muscle quality deteriorate faster in space than on Earth. Low gravity impacts, brain fluids and extended stays can potentially alter brain structure. Extended stays can also increase the risk of heart disease. Several other impacts have also been noticed and the ongoing program would help in better understanding of these changes. For more updates, keep watching the Indian Express.